Now on 18 Eyewitness News. The Bonterre Space Museum unveils $16 million worth of artifacts this Saturday. And are you prepared for the cold and flu season? Plus, the death of a Poplar Bluff man is now linked to bath salts. All of these stories, and do we have a wet weekend on tap? Coverage you can count on. This is 18 Eyewitness News. Hello everybody, I'm Fred Dawkins. Thanks for joining us. Here's the top stories that we're working on for you at this hour. The Bon Terre Space Museum will host an uncrating ceremony this Saturday morning at 10. Founder Earl Mullins tells 18 Eyewitness News that the museum will unveil the recently acquired space shuttle main engine components. Now this event will also feature a number of guest speakers. There will be several of the engineers uh, here that worked on the shuttle program from McDonnell Aerospace. Um, a lot of people aren't aware that uh, we had a part in the shuttle program, but we did. They, they helped design and build the Ohms package, which is the Ohms uh, maneuvering engine system on the shuttle. Space Shuttle astronaut Charlie Walker will also speak at the ceremony. Now Mullins tells us that they're hosting a special event an hour earlier on Saturday morning for those plugged into social media. The people who like to tweet and use Facebook and that sort of thing, they get to come in and they get to do some of the behind the scenes stuff, get up close and personal to our guests. Uh, they get to uh, actually watch the uncrating and uh, we will be feeding them a little bit of brunch too. And so it's going to be a party. We're going to have a good time because we are celebrating. NASA has valued the donation of the space shuttle components at more than $16 million. Well, now Dustin Kopp is here with a look at our first forecast. Dustin, cooler, wet weather ahead. What's on tap? Good evening, Fred. Good evening, everybody. We're starting to see those showers and thunderstorms develop here in southeast Missouri, and temperatures aren't too bad out there right now. Looking at current conditions through southeast Missouri, 76 right now in Festus, Potosi 75, 79 in Ellington and Piedmont, 78 in Fredertown, 80 right now in Popper Bluff and Cape Girardeau. Go through the evening hours, we'll see those showers and thunderstorms possible through the overnight hours as well, 75 by 7 p.m., 69 by 9, and by midnight, we'll see a temperature around 63 degrees. I'll give you more details on your forecast coming up later in weather. This week's cooler weather is a good reminder that cold and flu season isn't far away. Flu shots are now available at the Wayne Medical Center in Piedmont. Medical assistant Sheila Karen tells 18 Eyewitness News that there are certain folks who should get vaccinated. Most susceptible is the elderly, age 65 and up, uh, little kids, anybody with asthma, pneumonia, lung problems, diabetes, any heart disease. Now Sheila tells us the best way to protect yourself against the flu is to thoroughly wash your hands and use a sanitizer. One thing that they should know is it will not protect them from the flu, but it will prevent flu from taking over. Sheila tells us that you can get your flu shot at Wayne Medical Center in Piedmont weekdays from 9 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon. Well, authorities have confirmed that a Poplar Bluff man who died while in police custody earlier this summer was under the influence of synthetic drugs. Butler County Coroner Jim Akers has listed the official cause of death of 40-year-old Charles Riles as excited delirium syndrome brought on by the use of bath salts. Now back in July, officers responding to a 911 call at a convenience store found Riles disrobed and delusional. While en route to a local hospital, he became very agitated. Riles was subdued, but then collapsed and died. A home just outside of Silva on Highway 34 was gutted by fire Wednesday afternoon. Acting Greenville Fire Chief Roger Williams told 18 Eyewitness News that the fire was fully inflamed when they arrived on the scene. We've pretty much exhausted our efforts. To just, we're just trying to keep it contained now so it doesn't spread to any other homes or get out on the ground. Williams says they also received assistance from the Patterson and the Clearwater Fire Department. And when we come back on 18 Eyewitness News, how donors improve the allied health programs at Mineral Area College. That story coming up only on 18 Eyewitness News. 
When you're looking for quality home furnishings, appliances, and more, look no further than Heartland Furniture and Appliance. Heartland Furniture and Appliance offers great low prices every day with 90 days same as cash, easy payment plans to fit your budget, no hassle leasing, and great customer service. With three locations to better serve you, the customers, in Donovan, Dexter, and Piedmont on both sides of Main Street. Heartland Furniture and Appliance, call 223-3200. Take control of your future by enrolling at the Unitech Career Center. Discover a new career with Unitech's nursing programs or the opportunities with Unitech's sheet metal fabricating program or turn your hobby into a career with Unitech's power sports equipment program. From electrical trades to automotive technology programs, the first step to a well-paying future starts at the Unitech Career Center, Raider Road in Bonterre. For adult information, call 358-3011. For high school information, call 358-2271. You're watching 18 Eyewitness News with Fred Dawkins, Chief Weathercaster Dustin Kopp, and Jeremy Martin with Sports. 18 Eyewitness News continues. Donors to Mineral Area College significantly improve the education that students receive. Max Director of Development Julia Dill told 18 Eyewitness News how the college's Allied Health Department prepares students but when you walk in it looks like a real hospital and if I were a student training to save lives I would certainly want to train somewhere that looked and felt like a real hospital where I'd encounter real scenarios where I'd have to react quickly and skillfully. Julia notes some high-tech equipment forces students to make patient assessments very quickly. We have a sim man, which is a robotic human that breathes and speaks and has every health, every health complication we want to program into it. And our students, our poor students, they have to react and handle these things. And they've literally come out and said, oh, that was such an adrenaline-filled experience. I had to react quickly. I'm so glad I got to do this in the classroom and learn the correct, correct dosage amounts and things like that. Julia says in addition to the Sim Man, they also have a Sim Baby and will soon add a Sim Junior. Lucas Mahirin's second annual Golf for a Cure tournament is set for Saturday. Lucas is a Farmington first grader with type 1 diabetes. His dad is St. Francis County Prosecutor Jared Mahirin, who told 18 Eyewitness News that the goal of the tournament is to raise the awareness about the disease and raise funds for Warren Retrievers. They, uh, they uh, have uh, service dogs that they provide for diabetics. They're, uh, they're diabetic alert dogs called dads, and uh, they send them to families. Uh, the, the cost is, uh, is a pretty good amount for uh, anybody to, to buy one of these dogs, but it is very helpful, and we've noticed uh, uh, a drop in his blood sugar overall since we've had the dog. Mahirin says when they first learned that Lucas had diabetes, the support from the community was tremendous. We were very fortunate to have people in the community that, that would reach out to us and say, hey, we have either a family member or a child or somebody else that, uh, that is diabetic and, and let us tell you what we've kind of ha had to do and go through. Tournament registration starts Saturday morning at 11 at Crown Point Golf Club in Farmington. Along with the four-person scramble, there will be a skills contest and a silent auction. We're just a little more than just a week away from the third annual Wayne County Fair. Organizer Gail Wilson tells 18 Eyewitness News that the festivities get started next Friday, September 21st, with live music at 5 in the evening and a truck pull at 7. Saturday all day we have activities for kids. We've got a loggers relay, a chainsaw race. Um, there will be um, games for um, kids all ages and adults. Everything's free at the fair. There will be a pedal tractor pull, booths with crafts. Um, we've got a lot of food booths. 4-H will have a concession stand. A lot of activities, a lot of free activities for our family to come out and enjoy. On Sunday, Cowboy Church is set for 11 in the morning with a tractor pull scheduled for 1 o'clock. Gail says support for the fair has grown remarkably. 
year, the first year, you know, we had to track people down and explain what we wanted to do, and everybody kind of stood back and said, well, we'll see. And this year, people have called me all year to get in on it, so we're, we're very happy with the way it's turned out. The fairgrounds are located at the junction of Highway 34 and 67 at the Livestock Producers Associated Sale Barn in Silva. Farmington's annual fall festival is set for next Saturday, September 22nd, from 9 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. Folks can enjoy sidewalk sales, live music, and all sorts of vendors' booths. Organizer Meredith Lawson tells 18 Eyewitness News that they're also bringing back one of the most popular attractions, the kids' area, sponsored by Farmington's parents as teachers and the library. They're going to do the readings again, and we've got some stuff from Lowe's this year. They're going to do how-to kits with the kids, so that's going to be thrown in there. And so we're trying to expand the kids' area a little bit and make it bigger and better, and each year we're trying to find something new and different to do. Farmington's Fall Festival is sponsored by the Downtown Development Authority. And still to come on 18 Eyewitness News, Vaughn Carricker joins us on Ask the Attorney. We've got showers in the forecast and a nice weekend on the way. I have all the details coming up next in your Storm Tracker 18 weather forecast. When someone comes in a mental area's emergency department, our focus is giving them the best treatment in the quickest manner possible. We track every single patient, sending the doctors information before they even walk in the room. We have dedicated x-ray and CT equipment in our emergency department. We don't have to waste any time running all over the hospital. We know that minutes count in an emergency, and you can count on ER Plus at Mineral Area Regional Medical Center. Now, here's your Storm Tracker 18 weather forecast with Chief Weathercaster Dustin Kopp. And welcome back. We're seeing those showers and thunderstorms start to develop here in southeast Missouri. And we're going to see those last through Friday. Looking at weather headlines throughout the area, showers in the forecast for tomorrow and much cooler as well. And it looks like we're going to see a nice weekend in southeast Missouri. Here in southeast Missouri, we have temperatures in the 70s, 76 in Festus, 75 right now in Potosi. We have a current temperature of 77 in St. Genevieve, Piedmont, and Van Buren right now at 79 and 80 in Popper Bluff. Currently here at the studio, we have a couple of rumbles of thunder and a current temperature of 77 degrees. Feels like 77 out there with current dew point 61, 57% humidity and a southeast wind at 3 miles per hour. Going through the day tomorrow, we're going to see those showers throughout southeast Missouri as this cold front pushed through. And we're going to see those, like I said, off and on for the entire day. So for tonight, rumble of thunder possible. Otherwise, just some rain. 55 degrees for your overnight low. North wind 5 to 10. 51 in Festus, 52 in Potosi, 55 in Ellington, Piedmont 56 and down in Poplar Bluff 58. Then for tomorrow, 71 for your daytime high. A little bit warmer in other areas like in Ironton and Piedmont 74, 74 in Van Buren and 76 in Poplar Bluff. The next several days are looking like this to southeast Missouri. On Saturday, plenty of sunshine, high 79, 76 on Sunday, plenty of sunshine as well. Then we're going to see some showers and thunderstorms on Monday, high of 79. Then on Tuesday, much cooler, 72, low of 45. It's going to be a chilly night on Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Wednesday and Thursday, temperatures starting to climb back up into the mid to upper 70s with plenty of sunshine. Now look at our weekend forecast here in southeast Missouri. Seven, excuse me, seven, excuse me again. Saturday, we'll see a temperature around 79 degrees, low of 55, partly sunny skies. And on Sunday, we'll see a temperature around 76 with a low around 59 and partly cloudy skies as well. Trying to get that Saturday and 79 in there all at the same time. That's Jamie Storm Tracker weather forecast. More details are located at kdkz18.com. Just click on the weather tab. Fred, back to you. Thanks a lot, Dustin. Going to be looking forward to those cooler temperatures. And now Fred Dawkins Jr. is here with Ask the Attorney. 
In today's Ask the Attorney, Von Carricker joins us to talk about veterans benefits. Let's talk about VA claims versus Medicaid claims. Now, more and more veterans are starting to need nursing home care. They're getting older, they're getting frailer, they're needing that extra care that they can't get at home. And I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to do financial planning before you apply for Medicaid or before you apply for aid and attendance under the VA pension plan. Now for veterans, this is complicated stuff, but it really matters because listen, if you go into a skilled nursing facility as a Medicaid patient, Medicaid's gonna make you spend half of your life savings to qualify for that assistance. They're gonna make you spend down to poverty. And whoever's left at home is gonna have to get by on the remainder of what Medicaid doesn't take from you. Now, if you're not a millionaire, or if you don't have long-term insurance, or if your loved ones are likely to live for a long time, this is a real problem because they're going to need your money. So the amount of money that you receive while on Medicaid, it also affects what you could receive from the VA and vice versa. My law partner Kevin and I are both members of the National Association of Elder Law Attorneys. And I'm also an accredited VA attorney who's licensed to practice before the United States Court of Appeals for Veterans Claims. We must remind you that the choice of an attorney is an important one and should not be made solely based on advertising. I'm Stacy Johnson. You know, I remember a time when phones were for making calls. Not anymore. Now there's any number of weird things you can do with your smartphone. And I'm going to have some of the weirdest just ahead on Money Talks News. Your Health is brought to you by Parkland Health Mart Pharmacy. Parkland Health Mart Pharmacy of Deloge, where caring for you and about you is our business. From taking time to explain your medication, offering a caring touch to a full line of medical equipment, supplies, and diabetic shoes. We'll help you understand your options and assist you with Medicare drug plan enrollment with a comfortable waiting area, convenient drive through or free delivery. Caring for our neighbors is our business. Your locally owned Parkland Health Mart Pharmacy just off of Highway 67 at the Deloge exit. When you're recovering from a traumatic injury, the last thing you need is an unexpected bill. Because most health insurers pay only a part of air transport, Archair Medical has a solution, the Omni Advantage Program. For a membership fee of $49 per year, Omni Advantage guarantees you and other covered family members will not have to pay anything that your health insurer doesn't provide. In an extraordinary emergency, the last thing you need to worry about is cost. Contact Archair Medical or visit them on the web to discover all the advantages of Omni Advantage. If you use your cell phone primarily for doing mundane things like making phone calls, it's time to catch up. If you've got a smartphone, it can do things you wouldn't have thought possible. Here are five examples from Money Reporter Stacy Johnson. As anyone who has one knows, smartphones can do a lot more than make phone calls. Don't feel like talking? You can type. Want to check your email or surf the web? No problem. But nowadays, phones are not only convenient, they do things that are a little weird. For example, if you're too lazy to exhale, there's an app for that. Here's an app called Blower that forces air out of your phone's speaker. Why? So you can use it to blow out candles. Here's one called Designated Dialer. It restricts your ability to call people when you're, well, drunk. 
If your hands are shaky, it won't let you dial. Now here's one of my personal favorites. It's called Annoia Teen. You see, it turns out as we get older, our ability to hear high frequencies goes away. So this one emits a noise that's really annoying and audible to teens, but I can't hear anything. <laughs> Just think of the possibilities. This one's called Eye Shake, and it's actually kind of cool. When placed on a flat surface, it lets researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, measure seismic shifts from phones worldwide. And last but not least, here's a hot one, literally. The Hands Heater app is supposed to heat up your circuitry to warm your hands. Granted, there are a lot of really stupid apps on the market. However, there are also some really great apps out there. Apps that can do useful things for you, like help you manage money. And we've got a list of apps like that, and we'd be happy to show it to you. It's right here at moneytalksnews.com. I'm Stacy Johnson. And like Stacy said, he's got more weird apps and ideas for useful ones too at his website. Get there by going to our website, kdkz18.com, clicking on the Money Talks link under the Lifestyles menu. Did you know that an African elephant can produce up to 300 pounds of poop each day? Jason Lindsay, a.k.a. Mr. Science with Hooked on Science, uses a few items from around the house to show us the science behind poop. Many of you don't like the topic, but an author by the name of Kate Hayes has made our jobs when it comes to talking about poop to our kids a lot easier. She joins us now. Kate, how did this book come about? Well, I'm a mom and I have a preschooler who wanted to know all about poop, you know, from how it comes through the body and how it goes through the pipes. And I couldn't find a book that really explained the process in a way that he could understand. So I just decided to write one. Thanks, Kate, for taking time out of your busy schedule to chat with us. You can learn more about All About Poop by going to our website, hookedonscience.org. Now, I did help design a parent and educator guide around the book. One of the experiments teaches kids how long the small intestine is. And what I have here is a cord to help better understand that. Okay, Ethan, let's stretch it out that way. I'm going to keep going. Again, this cord represents the length of your small intestine, specifically in adults. Oh, wow, is it ever going to end? It's about 23 feet. Pretty cool. Go to our website, kdkz18.com, and click on Hooked on Science under the Lifestyles tab for this experiment and others that might get you and your family hooked on science. And coming up in sports, tickets still remain for Farmington's game Saturday in the Edward Jones Dome. The Fredericktown Blackcats celebrate homecoming week with a game against the Perryville Pirates. And the Cardinals start a four-game series with the Dodgers as the teams battle for the wild card. These stories coming up in sports on 18 Eyewitness News. Attention, Accutane warning. If you have Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, or inflammatory bowel disease, it may have been caused by the acne drug Accutane. Accutane victims have recently been awarded millions of dollars. Do not delay. There are time deadlines to file a claim. Call the Rely On Group now to be connected with an experienced attorney. There is absolutely no risk on your part. You don't owe us a penny unless we are successful. Call the Rely On Group at 800-698-3105. If you have diabetes and you're on Medicare, call now to get the new talking meter. These new meters are more accurate, they're easier to use, and the best news is you don't have to prick your fingers anymore. Areva makes it simple. They bill Medicare directly. There are no upfront costs, and they deliver your supplies right to your door for free. For more information, call 1-800-587-7095. This is Sports Zone, only on 18 Eyewitness News with Jeremy Martin. Tickets still remain for the Farmington Knights game at the Great American Football Classic on Saturday at the Edward Jones Dome. Athletic Director Pat Burns told 18 Eyewitness Sports where to buy tickets. Advanced tickets are for sale in the athletic department in, in our office. They are $11. Uh, those, that's good for the whole slate of four games for the course of the day. Um, the football players are selling them, but they're taking individual orders. Uh, just in general interest, I think if someone wanted to come and get tickets from us, it's better off to come see us in our office. Um, day of the game tickets at the Dome are $15, so it's, you know, 
in your best interest to purchase in advance. Coverage of Farmington versus the Sykeston Bulldogs kicks off on Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock on Froggy 96 or on your computer at froggy96online.com or you can watch the game Sunday afternoon at 3 right here on KDKZ. The culmination of homecoming week in Fredericktown will be Friday night's game against the Perryville Pirates. Assistant coach Marty Powers says students will prepare for the game with a big pep rally. It's just a huge thing where everybody gets together. The spirit stick is the kids fight for that. We even use a uh, sound meter to see how loud everybody gets. Big competition for that. Um, they get trophy points at the end of the year. They get a big trip for that. Coverage of the Black Cats and the Pirates kicks off on Friday evening at 7 o'clock live on our sister stations, Mix 103.9 FM and AM 1450, or watch the game Sunday at noon right here on KDKZ. And as the Cardinals and Dodgers open a four-game series Thursday, the National League's race for the second wildcard spot comes into focus. The clubs are the leading contenders to face the Braves in a one-game wildcard playoff next month. Lance Lynn takes the mound for the Cardinals. After a stellar start, his first full Major League season went south with a tough August that cost him his spot in the rotation. Lynn will get a chance to not only redeem himself as a starter, but also to establish some needed momentum for the Cardinals, especially after being swept by the Padres. And that's a look at sports. Fred and Dustin, back over to you. Dustin Comp, I bet you didn't know that an African elephant can produce up to 300 pounds of <laughs> poop per day. I, I didn't know that. That's equivalent to both of our producers in the back of the studio here. <laughs> well, maybe just one of them. Uh, yeah. I, I won't give names, I've, but I've, Spencer, anyway. Uh, yeah, both of them are pretty full of it anyway. <laughs> well, that was an interesting story there with our um, science guy. Um, um, Nothing to do with the weather, I guess, but what are we going to look for this weekend? We've got some rain on the way. We're going to start seeing those showers start to develop this evening. And then last through tomorrow, they're going to be off and on showers. So let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. We're going to see temperatures in the low to mid-70s for tomorrow. Not a bad day as far as temperature-wise, but we will see those showers. Plenty of sunshine Saturday and Sunday. Temperature around 79 on Saturday. Sunday looking nice, 76 degrees. Then on Monday, we've got a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures around 79 degrees. Low 70s for Tuesday. We were about 66 degrees yesterday. Now we're kind of bumping up that temperature a little bit. On Tuesday, plenty of sunshine. Sunshine remains for the rest of the week. And temperatures back to near 80 by Thursday. Why would anybody want to weigh poop? Bored, I guess. 300 pounds. Maybe there's money in it. We're in the wrong business if there is. Yeah, you're right about that. There's a lot of elephants out there. Yes, so there are. That's at St. Louis Zoo. <laughs> Folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you tonight at 10 o'clock with more. Until then, have a blessed evening and God bless everyone. The news doesn't stop here. Just go to kdkz18.com for your latest news, weather and sports 